Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? <sighs> so, weirdly enough, guys, we are getting some very, very <clears throat> heavy stuff within <sighs> this show, uh, Viking, bro. I just, man, like. I pretty much called it. I mean, it's kind of obvious with human nature and seeing how this show has some, you know, crazy things happening in it. They still are playing kind of relatively with natural causes that, you know, take out people or <coughs> wind up slowing processes for others, which the perfect example this man uses that is, you know, one of our main character's main reason for wanting to be the way he is right now is already thinking about the future and just how much longer he even has in general uh, to try to get any of this done, right? Like, to get anything in his life that he wants to see completed he's got to do it now or he's going to disappear you know so that aspect of the storytelling that way of going about showing us just how they feel and whatnot i already like really enjoy it and i think that it's a great approach for what is to come um not only that we've seen so much from like every single character uh in this show that kind of gets lines to talk just show up and do some ridiculous stuff like doorbell right now or whatever coming in and absolutely just destroying everything and taking the prince for himself not only that taking the prince and pushing forward to even fight more which he kind of just reminds me of like a god of war or something like that right like someone who only can live for battle and if he isn't living in battle and if he's not doing that he's going to pick a side that is going to allow him to do such right so that's a very very sketchy thing to have on the battlefield not only on your side but even worse to go against it but with what we can understand is because the prince is gone and we need to get him back we, I mean, I, I, they say they need to get him back, but I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot that they're going to either give him back to the king if he offers a high price uh, back to his father. Or if the other side asks for more, he's going to go with that. So <laughs> we're in a very, very interesting situation overall. And like this show has represented time and time again there's not much um that we don't know about this show there's not much that we don't know in the grand scheme of where our main character is trying to do things why is why is he trying to do it you know stuff like that and if you kind of forgot they bring it hardcore back in this dream where not only is he dreaming of the places that he's been or the a place that he's at as of right now and he hasn't even really had time to prog process where he's at and what he's been you know traveling through and getting to see all this time because he's only focused on revenge and the only way he really got to see what this place is and how beautiful it is is because he took his memory of pretty much seeing all this stuff and not <clears throat> paying any mind to it and then somehow uh, manifested it into a dream so the brain is very powerful and that's another thing they're kind of playing with in this moment is why would he imagine a place like this instead of his hometown with all the snow and you know everything like that so that that was kind of the little bit of a I don't know, a little bit of a tease of what to come, maybe, like, maybe he can see himself bring, trying to bring his family out there into a, a, you know, a lot more, less snowy place or something along those lines, who knows, I'm definitely interested in seeing, like, what they decide to do with these characters as a whole, because not only have we seen them, like, uh, kind of share what they want to do, 
and kind of not. We've also just known that whatever happens with Thorfinn and this man who took his father's life, whatever happens after that is it's going to be huge, right? Like, regardless if he gets to take the life of this man or if this man's about to go out with a bang, like he said, because his twilight, you know, era is almost over, right? Like, being someone that can smell the turns of battles and, the like, feel the aging and not only feel it, but know the history behind it, like the Romans losing, even though they were much, much more uh, civilized and like modernized than you know what we're seeing so it's stuff like that that gives you this overall feeling that what they're going for in the show is going to be hype regardless of you know where it ends up and i definitely want to be here with you guys to see if you enjoy it i waited i went too early uh, but overall, let me know how you guys are feeling about this show. We definitely missed it last week. We missed you so much, Viking. We missed you. We definitely wanted to be a little bit further this week. But regardless of that, I'm just glad you're back. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, not to mention, this is the same studio that made one of my favorite shows that came out recently called Cabinary Circus or something along those lines. Uh, so to see this studio working already this quickly and making a show that looks be better, if not like super ridiculously great. Um, I just can't wait to see if these guys, uh, have plans for further, you know, timelines in this show, or if we're just going to have to accept what we get here and, uh, you know, with this season and how far they go. And maybe they're going to move on to another show for a bit. I don't know. But regardless, I truly do appreciate this animation. And I really want to see where they're going to go uh, with the full-blown story. And how they're going to end some of these epic battles with some of these crazy powerful characters that we're starting to see more and more of. So with that being said, open my anime people having a good day, night, evening, whatever the case it is when they're watching this. I will definitely talk to you soon with more content, so keep your eye out on the channel for more videos dropping later today. So with that, peace.